morning, Bumblebeezies. Happy Saturday. Um, I am here by myself. Everybody, everybody left. Well, Vanessa has work and AJ went to go drop her off. Papa Bear just left to go grocery shopping. And I'm just here with Sebastian and Callie. Um, we normally, you guys know we normally go grocery shopping on Sunday, but we're supposed to be hit, we're going to get hit by a storm tomorrow so we are doing the grocery shopping today so anyways papa bear made us a delicious breakfast today he made us potatoes o'brien he just bought like the frozen pack of potatoes o'brien and then warmed that up he made some bacon and eggs and it was so yummy so so good so anyways i'm gonna make some coffee now i'm gonna use this mug today um disneyland super cute I'm gonna make a hot cup today. We're gonna try that other coffee that we bought. I really hope I like it. I'm not sure, I'm not even sure if I really like salted caramel, so I'm not sure why I got this. <laughs> but let's give it a try. It's the Starbucks Salted Caramel Mocha. Let's give that a try. So far, it smells good. It smells really good. Hopefully, I like it. We're just gonna add some Italian sweet cream creamer. That's pretty good. It doesn't taste like too salty. I thought it would be like really salted. It's mostly just like, it's a strong caramel flavor and then I can taste a little bit of mocha. It's good, it's not my favorite. I don't think I would get it again, but it is good. So I'm just sitting here editing some of my vlogs and I just remembered a couple people were asking for a birth story. So I thought I would film that right now. I chose not to vlog that day. Initially, I was going to vlog that day, but then I was like, no. Um, I just decided to just make, like, just keep it for us. Like, you know, like, I didn't really want to, like, we just wanted to be in the moment, basically. And not only that, I was, like, kind of scared because I did end up having a C-section. Um, so I just didn't vlog that day. But um, anyways, back to the birth story. You guys know I went in for my induction when I was 39 weeks and they i stayed for one night they put me on cytotech they gave me six doses of cytotech and that's something that they give you every four hours so i was there for more than 24 hours you know with that medication um so every four hours i got a dose of cytotech and when i came into the hospital i was already three centimeters dilated and i was about 50 percent effaced um Every time they would check me, I was still the same. Like I was not making any progress at all. Baby boy just really was not ready to come out, you guys. Um, and so after six doses, the doctor came in, the doctor on call, it was not my doctor, it was a different doctor who was on call that day or that night. Also my doctor, my regular OB was on vacation and she, um, basically I was, being seen by one of the other OBs in our office. So my, I know it's kind of confusing what I'm saying. My OB was on vacation, so I was being taken care of by the other OB in our office. But then this other OB, who was also an OB in our office, I've never seen him before. Um, he, he was the on-call doctor that night. So he was basically like, well, you have a couple of options. We can try to, you know, continue inducing you or you can go home and just wait for, you know, labor to come naturally. So I opted for, I opted to go home. Well, actually before that, I did ask him if I could just have a C-section because the, my doctor and the other doctor, they both were like kind of pushing for C-section because Sebastian was um, measuring very big on the ultrasounds. 
But the third doctor was like, well, you know, ultrasounds can be wrong. He might not even be that big and you really don't need an ultrasound because he, you know, he's not over 4,500 grams or something, which I guess is the recommended size for C-sections. Or was it 5,000? It was 4,500 or 5,000 grams, which is recommended for C-sections. But he was only like 4,200, something like that. So he was really like, you don't need a C-section. Anyways, and then I had asked him for a C-section, but he was like, no, you need to ask the other doctor. So then I was like, okay, whatever. So I just decided to go home. I waited a few days and then I actually had my third or I had my 40 week checkup. I was 39 weeks and five days at this point. Okay. And I had no signs of labor. Um, I went in for my NST and during my NST, they actually, because I think there was like a big drop. I'm not sure what happened during the NST, but um, they actually sent me to labor and delivery. So they sent me to the hospital to be monitored. They wanted to get a longer like NST. So I went straight to labor and delivery. I stayed for one hour, hooked up to the monitors. And then at that point, um, the covering OB agreed to give me a C-section because um, nothing was happening. Like I was not progressing. I was still just three centimeters, 50% effaced. The longer I waited, the bigger he was going to be. Obviously, he was 10 pounds when he was born, so he was a big baby. Um, I was also getting really scared of having a shoulder dystocia. The shoulder dystocia is what really is the real, like, sh having a shoulder dystocia is what really, like, is why they really wanted me to go for the C-section in the first place. But yeah, I was getting more scared of that, so... Anyways, we were at the hospital for labor. We were in the hospital for my NST. They said I could come back the next morning for him to, um, like for me to have my C-section. So next morning I came in, um, I was scheduled for 9 a.m. I got there at seven, you have to get there two hours ahead and they do like, they monitor the baby, um, they hook you up to like an IV, you know, get you all prepped and everything. Then it was time for the C-section. This was my very first C-section. I never had one before, so I was kind of scared. But they bring you into the OR, and then they do the spinal tap, and that hurt. That hurt, you guys. Like, I, I, did, not, I did not think it was going to hurt that bad, but you're basically, like, hunched over, and then the doctor, he, like, finds the spot, and then he puts it in, and that hurt. Like it hurt. And then it's like the weirdest thing. They have to lay you down like super fast, get you in position. And then all of a sudden you just feel like your lower laugh go lower laugh. <laughs> you just feel your lower half go completely numb. And then they do a pinch test. If you can't feel anything, then they start, you know, the incision and everything. And then I just felt so much pressure because like Papa Bears, he was there with me and he said he could he could see the nurse like pushing like super, super hard on my stomach to like get the baby out. Like she was going like this. And when she was doing that, I, I'm telling you like I could not breathe. I felt like an elephant was like stepping on me or like I just got hit with like a ton of bricks. Like I was like struggling to breathe. Oh, also that medicine, the spinal tap made me so nauseous. Within minutes, within like minutes, I was super nauseous. I told the anesthesiologist, cause he was like, are you okay? Do you feel nauseous? nauseous? And I was like, yes, I feel so nauseous. He put like a little vomit bag next to me. And then he gave me Zofran like through my IV. So the Zofran helped very, like it worked really, really quickly, really fast. So my nausea went away. Um, and then, yeah, they were, so they were pushing on me and then they finally got the baby out and they lifted him up. I didn't see him because like, you know, like there's the curtain thing, but Papa Bear saw him and he was like, Oh my gosh, he's so big. And then they brought him over to me and oh my gosh, he was so cute. He was really big. Um, he was 10 pounds, 1.3 ounces. So they were like, you made a really good decision by going with the C-section. Also like when they were actually getting him out, they did actually have a little bit of a hard time because his shoulders and everything. So good thing I ended up going with the C-section and who knows if I didn't get the C-section, I would have already been past my due date and he would have been even bigger. But that's pretty much it. That's the story. So yeah, that's why I went in for the C-section. I was not going, like, I had no signs of labor whatsoever. He was measuring big. 
I did want to try to have him naturally, which is why I went in for the induction. Not only that, I was scared to have a C-section, but I'm really glad that I went with the C-section in the end because it, for me, it felt like the safest option, just like in the end, knowing how big he was. So I'm really glad that I ended up going with the C-section. And then after like going into recovery, um, they have you stand up like the same day, which really helps with your recovery. So as soon as like you can feel your legs, like as soon as the feeling comes back, they have you stand up and like try to walk. And honestly, that helps. That helped so much. Um, it hurt just a little bit or it felt kind of weird a little bit when I stood up, but it didn't hurt that bad. Well, I was on pain medication, so that probably helped. But um, the recovery was actually not that bad. I was, I think I was really scared too of the recovery. I didn't really know what to expect, but honestly, it really wasn't that bad. Like I didn't really have trouble going up and down the stairs or walking around. Um, also at the hospital, two hours after the procedure, I started chewing gum, um, because I heard that helps with passing gas. So I started chewing gum. I chewed gum for like 30 minutes. And then like every couple of hours I would chew gum for 30 minutes. And that really helped. I was able to pass gas on the first day and I made a bowel movement. I think the next day, um, oh, also when they removed the catheter, cause I had like all my feeling back already and they removed the catheter. That was uncomfortable. That didn't feel good. Um, but I had no problem using the bathroom, like urinating or passing bowel. Well, no, passing a bowel was a little bit hard, but I was able to go the second day, like I said. But yeah, like the recovery really wasn't that bad. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any other questions, let me know. I think my story was a little bit confusing because I kept going back and forth, but hopefully you guys got the gist of it. Okay, guys, I was at Sam's Club and uh, found this smart food popcorn. It's a limited edition flavor and it's uh, Parmesan garlic. Yeah, parm yep. they're, they're uh, Buffalo Wild Wings Parmesan garlic sauce. Let's try. Smell. It smells, huh? Ooh. Put some on a little neck in here. Yeah. This is a good snack. Okay. okay, let's try. They smell funky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Okay, cheers. cheers. That is good. Good. Mm -hmm. I don't even really like garlic parmesan from Buffalo Wild Wings, but this is good. Mmm. I like it. How much was that? I think it was uh, 6 dollars to be exact. <laughs> That's really good. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's a limited edition, guys, so... Sam's Club. Go we'll get it. Go we'll get it. It's very good. 60 calories per right. serving, right? Per cup. Per 150 cup. per serving. Oh, per serving, yeah. <laughs> per cup. Very delicious. Just reminds me of pasta. Yeah. Mm. That's fire. 10 out of 10. Yeah, this is dangerous. <laughs> Very good. We're watching the Raiders versus Rams game, just like a pre preseason game. <laughs> yeah, it was actually supposed to be tomorrow, but because of the storm, they moved it up to today, right? No, no uh, it was the other the baseball mama. This was supposed the, to be today. Yeah, it was supposed to. Oh, be today. see, yeah. I keep getting the football games yeah. mixed up with the baseball games. Yeah, the baseball. Is that a Dodgers game? game? Yeah, the, uh, and the angels. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, we're watching that, and I'm working on dinner right now. It's six twenty-five. Making pork spare ribs adobo.